Gwyneth Paltrow is getting sued for a ski hit and run leaving a man with brain damage. The Park City trial begins in the Gwyneth Paltrow ski crash case. Holy shit, what? I haven't heard of this. Gwyneth Paltrow appears in a Utah court for a trial over 2016 ski crash. That's seven years ago. Holy shit, this took a long time. Man, those goop lawyers. They must have been working wonders. Keep pushing that down the line. Is there a resub bust? She's accused of crashing into Terry Sanderson, causing several serious injuries and abandoning it. Oh, Jesus, abandoning him while they were both skiing on a beginner run at Deer Valley Resort seven years ago. The trial is being live streamed on YouTube. I'm so glad we've entered this era where trials are streamed. Like, even outside of just the spectacle of it, I genuinely, we just talked about it on the podcast, I genuinely think it's extremely important. We were talking to Friendly Geordies about it. Those trials being streamed, I actually think, is a very valuable service. He filed the lawsuit in 2019, and since then has alleged the incident. The accident left him with a brain injury, four broken ribs, and emotional damage. Sanderson also claimed Paltrow left the scene without giving him her name, contact information, or calling for help. Lawrence Bueller, an attorney for Sanderson, began opening arguments stating, Distracted skiers cause crashes. Defendant Gwyneth Paltrow knew that looking up the mountain and to the side while skiing down the mountain was dangerous. So she's, she's a shitty skier, yeah, is what it sounds like. Owens told the jury that Sanderson Sanderson's claims that the actress bolted from the mountain after ramming into him were totally fabricated, fab, fabricated, we believe it to be utter BS. Can you say that in court? We believe it to be utter bullshit? Surely there's a more professional way of doing it, right? Like, this riffraff is fibbing anything. Thanks to the resub stove and the bits cult. In May 2022, the third district judge dismissed some of Sanderson's claims against Paltrow, ruling that it was not a hit-and-run ski crash, according to the news outlet. The 76-year-old is now seeking 300 k in damages. Interesting. She recounts the events of the day, blaming him for the crash. She described him being uphill from her and her family when he suddenly plowed into her back, delivering a full-body blow. According to Paltrow, she was angry with Sanderson, and he apologized. Each party wants the other to cover their legal cost. Paltrow is seeking one dollar in damages. <laughs> I, hey, I'm no Gwyneth Paltrow fan. I think Goop is beyond silly, stupid, and at times outright dangerous, but... God damn it, gotta give credit where credit's due. Suing for a dollar in damages is such a power move. Just a little fuck you kind of thing. Well, she's not suing. She is getting sued, and it, it looks like, for the legal costs, is countersuing for a dollar. <laughs> so, it's not like she cast the first stone. But she, she could very well be responsible for the ski accident. I have no idea I wasn't there. Thanks, the resub. Colt, Valkyrie, <clears throat> Agonomics, and Tier 1 Bro. She has to sue for a dollar amount because she's counter-suing. Yeah. I, I get that. She has so much money, I don't know why she doesn't just settle. I don't think it's a money thing. She's saying that it was actually him that hit her and that he's been chasing this for a while. It was even thrown out in May 2022 for it not being real. And he's still coming back seeking more damages. Why settle for someone that's just blatantly lying? It's more of a principle thing. And I would imagine the counter suing is to stop him from doing this shit again in the future. Do you think she's gonna win? I have no fucking idea, man. It just seems like this guy's already lost once. 
I can't imagine he has new evidence. So if the evidence wasn't good enough the first time, it's probably not going to be good enough the second time. Evidence for what? That he's a nice guy? I have no fucking clue. Uh, evidence that he's been the victim of a hit and run. I don't even know how he'd prove it. I, I have no idea. That's a very hard thing to prove since it happened in fucking 2016. But he was unsuccessful in doing that in 2022. Medical bills? Yeah, but that doesn't prove that it was her that did it in a hit-and-run accident. Because, again, he could still have hurt himself after running into her like she that like she's claiming. Either one of these could be true. I, I have no clue. Recorded evidence, if any. Well, if he had recorded evidence, he probably wouldn't have lost last year. It would have been pretty clear. Look at some of the trial clips. I can't imagine this being like a super entertaining trial, if I'm being honest. Thank you, Tim. Give subs, Ollie. Appreciate that. Thank you, Ollie. Wow, this was 11 hours, huh? Oh, they got the 25 gift subs Fox and the tier 1 riser. <clears throat> really appreciate the generosity. Thank you, Fox. I would be inclined to believe that she's probably more accurate on the account of the situation. It is very it is very likely at that age he was the one to have lost control and hit her. And be confused about the whole thing. You see that all the time with elderly drivers. I've shown that video and told that story multiple times of that older woman. I don't remember how old she is. She has crashed into the same vet twice. Literally drove her car through the wall of a vet twice. Uh, actually, I don't think it's the same vet. But she has driven her car through a business twice. Because she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. So I wouldn't be surprised, in this case, if that was something similar with that guy. That guy seemed very aware, though. Well, it's not about being aware. Like, that woman that keeps crashing into businesses, it's not like she's, like, insane or senile. She is just... Her eyesight is not good enough. She literally cannot see well enough behind the wheel of the vehicle and has crashed into businesses twice. So it could be the same for him. His eyesight was not well enough on that mountain, you know, with like the sun out being like reflected on the snow, runs right into her and then blames her because he didn't see her. So he rationalizes that, oh, she must have hit me. Though I will say Gwyneth Paltrow is absolutely the kind of person that would run into an old man and then <laughs> blame him. It's just I feel like the most likely scenario is the older guy is wrong about how the situation unfolded.